Greetings folks and I hope you're all fit and well out there in collecting land uh, and welcome back to the channel and yes my absolute favourite time of the year is nearly upon us. Uh, you can keep Christmas, forget Easter, kiss Valentine's Day off and shove your birthday. Uh, it's Halloween, absolutely the best day and night of the year period. Uh, so to celebrate the run-up to Sam Hain, we're going to be taking a close-up look at Countdown Characters Build Your Own 9-inch Michael Myers figure from the 2007 Rob Zombie remake of Halloween. Uh, as always, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps people find the uh, channel. And don't forget to subscribe uh, as that supports the channel. And also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of the good stuff that's coming up on the channel. Uh, so, hands up here, I know nothing about Countdown characters uh, before they started popping up all over my social media uh, feeds recently. Uh, I'd heard of Numskull, but associated them with gaming accessories. Uh, anyway, it seems Countdown characters specialise in seasonal advent build-your-own-figure thingies. Uh, there's a Christmas Shrek, a Christmas Stormtrooper, uh, hell there's even a Christmas Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, but what caught my eye is this Countdown to Halloween 9 inch Michael Myers figure. Now I'll say from the get go I am not a fan of the Rob Zombie uh, Halloween remake. How can I put this politely? I think it's misguided at best, but the, uh, the whole concept of this thing intrigued me uh, and me and anything Halloween and I'm just a complete sucker, so I couldn't resist pressing play. Uh, so the box, well, straight away, um, I'll stop it from spinning straight away. I've got to say this whole feel, when it arrived, this whole thing feels really, really premium. Uh, the packaging, uh, the presentation, they have nailed absolutely. Uh, what you've got at the front here is the uh, original poster art from the film. This is a Rob Zombie film, Halloween. There's the silhouette of Michael there and then the mask in the background. Uh, around the sides here, uh, it says, build your own premium nine figure in 13 simple steps. And the repetition of that same picture around the other side. Uh, we've got a whole boatload of information here about how you uh, go about constructing it and um, what this is all about. If you're wanting to read that, please feel free to hit pause. No glue required. That's good. <laughs> that's that's very, 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 very good for me. Countdown to your own spooky Halloween, 13 unlucky pieces. What we're going to be doing is doing 13 separate videos in the run up to Halloween. No, no, I'm joking. We're not. We're not going to do that. Uh, I, uh, I'm no good at deferred gratification, so we'll be te tearing into this box and doing the whole thing in one go. Uh, around the back, we've got uh, some pictures of how you construct the thing uh, and, the, uh, and the actual figure itself completed. Some more details at the bottom. On the top, it's a repetition of that, uh, of that uh, uh, nice image on the front there, the, uh, the picture of Michael, uh, the Halloween logo. On the bottom, you've got the uh, usual warnings and credits uh, that we normally expect on one of these boxes and a really nice sort of silhouetted uh, image of Michael there. Well, I'll say silhouetted, it's actually made up. And if I can get this into camera, I have to bear with me if there's any, uh, uh, if there's any glare coming off this. I've not taken the, uh, <laughs> the cellophane wrapper off this thing yet. But the image underneath is really nice. It's a, it's a picture of, uh, of Michael uh, in the mask, uh, but it's all made up of, of lots of different size steak knives. That's a really nice design. Didn't notice that when I first picked this thing up. So yeah, there you have it. That's the box and uh, very nice it is too. So uh, without further ado, let's rip this cellophane off, dive in and find out what this thing's all about. Okay, so why are we still staring at the box, Mr. Go Figure? I hear you collectively cry. Well, there's a good reason for that. Once you remove the uh, cellophane wrapper on this thing, uh, around the back, you are greeted with these three drawers with these rather nice little nylon handles. And I've got to say, the presentation here is really, really good. I said it before, say it again, it's, uh, it's quality presentation. Uh, also, I forgot to mention as well at the top there, there will be a link to uh, Numskull uh, Countdown Characters uh, website in the description below. So if you're wanting to check out this figure or any of their other stuff, uh, feel free to do so. So yeah, you're greeted with these rather nice drawers. And when you open these drawers up, what you have inside are a set of numbered boxes. Uh, now, uh, I'll try and get one of these drawers out. Uh, now, each of the boxes, I say, is, is numbered there. You've got a repetition of that image of Michael's mask in knives. And I believe what you're supposed to do is, um, in, the, uh, in the two weeks run up to, uh, uh, to uh, Sam Hain, is actually add an extra piece uh, or something like that. Don't ask me. 
<laughs> yeah, something along those lines. Uh, I won't be doing that because uh, defer gratification are two words that don't figure in my vocabulary. Uh, I will be putting the whole thing together. But yeah, if you take them all out, and I'm assuming this top one here, yeah, uh, that's I'm assuming that's going to be the base uh, simply because there's only one piece in there. But yeah, so what we'll do next is we'll get all the pieces out of the box uh, and uh, construct uh, Michael himself and take a look at the, uh, at the finished product. Okay, so here he is. It's Michael Myers himself from Rob Zombie's Take on Halloween. Out of the box is fully constructed and onto the turntable. And uh, first impressions. Oh, first impressions are pretty good. I think he's, he's looking good, the little chap. Uh, but we'll do as we always do. We will uh, take a close-up look at him. Let's stop him from spinning. Um, this guy comes in at about nine inches tall, um, which sort of puts him somewhere between... Uh, one tenth and one sixth scale, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a close up look at him. Um, he's actually made out of now. I am not sure whether this is plastic or, or UPVC. I think it's sort of it feels like PVC. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll call it a uh, um, a, P, a PVC statue. Uh, not technically a, a, a figure, not an action figure anyway, because there's no articulation in here, obviously. But uh, and you'll hear me say this probably a couple of times before the end of this review. We've got to remember the price point we're looking at here. This is not coming in at uh, uh, the, the average price of uh, a six scale figure uh, or a six scale statue, for that matter. But yeah, let's get him off this. Uh, off this turntable and have a close-up look at him. We'll start with this base. And the construction process is really, really simple on these uh, on, on this particular piece. All the uh, all the boxes are numbered, uh, as we said in the previous section, and they've all got uh, these little diagrams on the back. So uh, yeah, all slots in place, no glue required. Uh, and so even a klutz like me can, uh, can do it without screwing it up. But yeah, this base, uh, it's, it's rather nice. Uh, you've got this basic, it's, Relatively simple. It's just meant to replicate sort of a soil, wet soil base, uh, but it's got some um, uh, washer, paint washers on there to uh, pick out the detailing. This sort of edge of rubble there. There's uh, a couple of bits of wood going on around the sides, uh, and then you've got this uh, rather nice jack o' lantern. Paint applications on there are, are good. Uh, the screen accuracy is there, and uh, the colours are right, and uh, it just looks really nice. Uh, behind Michael, you have got the uh, the gravestone, the cross itself. It says Myers on there, and uh, yeah, uh, and there's uh, some detailing of roses across the bottom. Uh, that piece was a little bit uh, tougher to get in; took uh, a bit of pressure. But I think because it is, and I'm, if I've got this wrong, and if it is plastic, correct me in the comment section below. Uh, but because I think it's PVC, and it's got a little bit of give to it. Uh, in fact, all the pieces have a little bit of give to them, which makes it that much easier to construct it. But yeah, Michael himself, so uh, start at the bottom, work our way up. Uh, the, um, the sculpt looks really nice. The proportions look on point and screen accurate. Uh, the paint applications are good. Uh, you've got numerous dry washes on, uh, uh, numerous washes on here to, uh, to dirty it up. There's an awful lot of weathering going on, which is in keeping uh, with Rob Zombie's Michael. Um, the overalls look uh, look screen accurate. Uh, they are suitably dirty. Lots of, uh, of washes on here to dirty up the uh, overalls, and they were very very dirty. Uh, so that that's uh, that's accurate. Uh, we've got sculpted in seam lines. There are sculpted in buttons on the sides here, uh, around the back. That, uh, that those paint applications are continue with it dirtied up. If, if I've got one complaint, I would say it's a little bit shiny. Now, I don't know whether that's the paint applications that they've used here or whether it's down to um, uh, the, the actual material that they've used to make the, uh, the, the, the statue out of. But yeah, it comes off as a tad shiny. Uh, but uh, what we'll do, uh, these lights aren't the most favourable, uh, to be honest with you, because uh, I use quite bright uh, LED lighting here. Uh, when we're doing the reviews to actually pick out the details of, uh, of, of figures and statues. Uh, so sometimes it can be non too flattering, but we will do a mini showcase at the end where we'll, uh, we'll, we'll use some different lighting, uh, perhaps some more favorable lighting for him. But yeah, uh, the, uh, the, the blood spatter effects are really nice. Um, that wet look blood paint on the hands is good. Uh, and uh, it's all over the knife in the other hand as well, which is oily and dirtied up as well. And overall, yeah, pretty well done. Uh, proportions are right, colours are slightly out, but uh, not by a massive amount. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. Let's bring him in close. And I think they've done a pretty good job on this head sculpt. 
um, that mask is uh, pretty accurate to the to the one that uh, that Michael wears in the Rob Zombie take. You've got the tears in there, the rips, the uh, the lines down the side. It's dinked and scratched and pitted, which is uh, which is absolutely uh, accurate there. The colours are right. This. Uh, there's almost put some green washes in there as well, which is once again is screen accurate. Hair's nicely done uh, with some brown highlights in there over the top of black. Uh, the eyes are quite well painted. Uh, there's quite a bit of eye showing there, but that's once again, that's, uh, that's in keeping uh, with the Rob Zombie take on the mask uh, for Michael. So yeah, overall, uh, a pretty decent head sculpt. So let's get him back on the, uh, on the turntable, get him spinning again and going for final thoughts on this guy. Um, I'm going to say from the top here, I am not going to score this out of 10 like I normally do because I think this is, this is a rather unique piece. It's, uh, um, I, I don't really have anything to compare it to. I don't have any other what I believe is UPV sta UPVC statues of this type. Uh, I think it's, I'm not going to call it a novelty item. That would be unfair because it is, it is a statue. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll call it what it is, but uh, I think it's pretty good. And most certainly considering the price point, uh, I think it's a, it's a nice little piece. It's a, a great little piece, in fact. Uh, I think the presentation is, is absolutely excellent. This box is really, really nice. Uh, the way the whole thing's laid out is just uh, is really nice. It, it will be great as well to actually construct this over the, uh, uh, over the 13 days leading up to, uh, up to Halloween. Uh, that'd be an awful lot of fun, but yeah, I think uh, calling it a fun piece sounds unfair, but uh, 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 I'm going to call it that anyway. It is a fun little piece, and I'm going to have uh, a barrel of laughs uh, displaying this guy uh, on my desk over the uh, over the Halloween period. So there you have it. That is uh, that is countdown characters and numbskulls take on Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's Halloween. So uh, what are your thoughts on this piece? Uh, what are you, what's your take on it? I'd be fascinated to hear. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section below. What's your take on uh, Rob Zombie's uh, Halloween? Uh, what's your take on, uh, on, on numbskull and countdown characters? Nothing's off menu, so please drop a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I suppose all that remains for me to say is a massive thank you for watching. Uh, please like, as I mentioned at the top there, so uh, more people uh, become aware of the channel and hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you're not missing any of the uh, good stuff that's coming up on the channel. And there's a hell of a lot of it. We have six scale uh, action figures, quarter scale statues, uh, a whole raft of stuff. We're going to be doing a Halloween special as well. Um, that's uh, that's in the making as we speak. I'm not going to give too much away about that, but uh, that'll be coming up uh, just before the uh, the best day of the year. So uh, yeah, I suppose all it remains for me to say is a massive thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Happy collecting, and it's over to the mini showcase. Mm -hmm.